Warrior Wolves Egwekwe. Azubi Kegwekwe collecting the first booking of this game. And uh, he wasn't complaining at all, uh, Kalechi. No complaints there. He was uh, about to be beaten, and if he's been beaten, anything could have been possible. So I think even his uh, manager uh, might not be too angry with him uh, for that sort of a tackle. Dangerous times for what it was. And dangerous times it could be. A ball headed away. It wasn't a bad free kick, really, uh, coming from Sugar Sambo. And well beaten. A good opportunity, but a horribly taken one. And there was no reason, really, for that hurry in the end. <laughs> well, uh, I'm sure that uh, supporters of Bori Woods would have expected uh, something totally different from the referee's decision. But the referee is uh, having none of that. Very dangerous challenge there, going to Abdullah. Uh, that was actually as. The number five says, Serge Sadiq, he went in hard on Guido as he tried to head that ball and he came down hard on the grass. He's really some sort of, uh, some spot of border, but I know he'll get through that. But uh, Kwara United has really upped the tempo in the last uh, five minutes. I think uh, Warrior Wolves, uh, they are, uh, the stress is now beginning to show on their players. And uh, Guido Abulai himself, uh, that must have been some shock uh, because uh, given his size he's quite bulky he's big tall and big and uh, coming all the way down on his back from there could rattle just about anybody but in the meantime uh, it is a throw in the man taking the throw in was actually lost in the stands before coming in to heave that one forward and a chance and it's finally in beautifully done a combo he did not hesitate at all slamming that one in he deserves to score because he's played well too far. It is 35 minutes and we have the first goal of the game to the home side, Kora United, following a long throw-in. One of those very long throw-ins they've been having all this while. And uh, well, what can Abu Gaza can do except have a sip of water? That, at least, nobody can deny him. It's been coming and coming and coming and uh, that was a very, very horrific mistake from Ambrose Van Zeken. He has absolutely nobody to blame. He was with two of his players. Why he couldn't hang on to that one, nobody knows. And that is a murderous mistake to make when someone like Okayma Combo is locking behind. And they have been punished for it. And we have this